Hi, I'm Dr. Weiner. I'm a bariatric surgeon, and I also answer people's questions that they have about bariatric surgery or weight loss or nutrition uh, in videos. If you have a question that you'd like me to answer, you can go to drweiner.com, scroll down a little bit, find this button that says Start Recording, click the button, give your phone, tablet, or uh, PC or Mac um, access to the microphone, record the question, you can actually replay it to make sure you like the way it sounds, send it off to me, it comes into my email, and uh, there's a good chance I'll make a video about it. So let's listen to, to uh, today's question. Hello, Dr. Weiner. You mentioned medications when you're talking about the metabolic set point and uh, meta metabolism. What are the medications that can help with that hormonal response with your girl and your leptin? Can you please tell us what those medications might be? Thank you. Okay, so what medications lower your set point? I go into this in, in actually a pretty significant amount of detail in my new book, How Weight Loss Surgery Really Works. It's chapter four, but I'll go over those quickly. Some of the medications that are used um, for weight loss uh, in the United States. So metformin is a diabetes medicine. It's, it's not a very powerful set point lowering agent. To some degree, I think it just causes some underlying GI disturbances and, and unpleasant side effects and just that kind of illness, that GI illness that it triggers tends to kind of lower your set point and drive a little bit of weight loss. But as far as a, a powerful um, weight loss medication, I, I definitely wouldn't put it there. The good, good thing about it has very few side effects aside from those GI issues, and it's very cheap. Uh, Phentermine, also known as Adipex, there's some other versions of it like Fendimetrazine. Uh, these are stimulants, uh, which are very common. Um, a lot of people dose them pretty high and you can get fast heart rates and difficulty sleeping and all kinds of anxiety and unpleasant side effects. When I use them, I tend to dose them uh, lower down and keep, pe uh, keep people on them for a long period of time. It's a great drug. You can lose a, a, some weight from it, but in terms of staying on it, um, it just doesn't have the durability or long-term success rate that we need from a weight loss medication. If you stop taking it, the weight gain comes right back on. And really, it's not safe to stay on forever. Um, and over time, your body kind of adjusts and, and it doesn't work as well. Uh, there's to, uh, Topimerate or Topamax, which is uh, an anti-seizure drug, which is often coupled with Ventermine, which can, and it, it's put together in a combination pill called Qsimia. Um, and it's, uh, it doesn't have a ton of side effects. Some people can get a little spacey from it. Um, but in general, it's a fairly safe medication. And the two of these together kind of work, they work well. And we can see 15, 20, 25 pounds of weight loss from these medications, sometimes even more. Um, but for most people, you're looking at somewhere between 10 to 20 pounds of weight loss from a combination of these medications. Contrave is a combination of bupropion, which is also known as Wellbutrin, uh, and naltrexone, which blocks the opioids. It's similar to Narcan, which is what the firemen used to uh, treat people who've overdosed from on narcotics. Um, and uh, the idea here is that it kind of reduces your cravings for sweet foods and allows you to choose healthier foods. I do use it sometimes for people who are struggling with food addictions. Uh, it's available in generic form, which is much less expensive. Uh, and it, it, it's a reasonable medication, I think, for treating food addictions. But as far as a powerful weight loss medication, uh, it's not really that great. Um, Belvique is, is uh, kind of a newer version of um, uh, fenfluramine, which was part of the fenfen. It was actually the bad part of the fenfen that they had to pull off the market and it caused uh, the, the, the um, cardiac problems that could be fatal. And um, this supposedly doesn't have that same side effect. It's been out for a while. We really haven't seen it, but it also doesn't work that great. Uh, I really have not seen a lot of success from Belvique. Um, every now and then I'll see someone who's on it and, and has done well, uh, but it's not off patent. It is fairly expensive and really the weight loss is fairly modest. Without question, the most effective weight loss drug we have is Sixenda. And I think this is where we're going to see some promise in, in the future. Um, there's some, some relatives of Sixenda, uh, which actually have shown potentially even more weight loss. These are all diabetes drugs and they're being repurposed and resold as weight loss drugs because they do cause weight loss. Uh, Sixenda is really the same drug as, as uh, Victoza, just dosed at a higher level. I've seen some really great weight loss, like 30, 40 pounds or even more on Sixenda. The big problem with Sixenda is two things. 
Number one, it's a daily injection. So you have to inject yourself every single day. There's some other versions that are probably gonna come out as weight loss medications in the next, I don't know, with two, three, five years, where it's a weekly injection, um, which I think is a, a lot more palatable for people. Uh, um, but you know, a daily injection, I think, is a, is a tough thing to sign up for. Um, the other, and the real substantial downside to Sixenda is that it's extremely expensive. It's covered by very few insurance policies. We need to, we need to lower the price of Sixenda and get it covered by more policies because it really is a, a very powerful set point lowering drug with not a ton of side effects. It's, I prescribed it a lot and I'm really happy with the results. Um, but it is very expensive if you don't have insurance coverage, which most people don't. Um, with a coupon, you can probably get it between $700 to $800 a month. And I think the important thing to, to remember about weight loss medications is these are set point lowering treatments. So you're, they, they, if you're losing 40 pounds, if you're going from 240 pounds down to 200 pounds and losing that weight from say Sixenda, that what that drug is doing is essentially lowering the set point that your body tries to regulate in terms of your weight, which is great. This is how you lose weight permanently. The problem is, is you have to continue the medication if you're going to maintain the weight loss. So if you go on Sixenda or Fentermine or any of these medications and you lose weight and you're super happy, the second you stop the medication, the weight's going to start coming back. The set point goes back up and this whole process reverses and we see weight gain. It's almost inevitable when we stop these medications. So if you are exploring medications for weight loss, I think it's either critical that you pair them with nutrition and exercise. And really, when I see patients, medications are what we use to kind of add a little bit extra to the nutritional plan and the exercise plan that we've implemented. Um, and potentially the bariatric surgery plan. I actually use a lot of weight loss medications after bariatric surgery. Um, but you have to make sure you understand you're going to be on these for a long period of time. Um, so if you have uh, want, want more info about this, you can check out uh, nutrition course number two or nutrition course number three um, or nutrition course number one on drweiner.com or you can check out my book, How Weight Loss Surgery Really Works. Again, chapter four covers this um, uh, in, in a reasonable amount of detail and also uh, my book, A Pound of Cure. Thanks.